Hi, thanks for joining me on today's live video. Today I want to talk about why running around Central Park helped me to think about setting goals, what it taught me about setting goals. So last week I was in New York City for Tartan Week and we were staying in Midtown on 7th Avenue, about 28 blocks south of Central Park. So before the trip I was decided I wanted to go running in New York and worked out that the best place to run would be Central Park, which is 28 blocks north of where we were staying. So it works out about a mile and a half. I think 20 blocks is about a mile. And Central Park is about 6.1 miles around the circumference of it. So that would be a great opportunity. Central Park is such an iconic location in New York and running around it would be pretty cool. I'd also read that if you go running or do you exercise when you arrive in a new location, it helps you to get over your jet lag. So I knew on the first morning I was there, on the Thursday morning, I'd be waking up early anyway because I'd still be in UK time. So what a better opportunity than to get up early and get out running to help overcome my jet lag and I'd be up anyway. So I thought, well, what's, what's so great about being jet lag and getting up early than going running. There have been other occasions, sorry, that um, I'd wanted to get up early in the morning to take photographs when I was on holiday in different locations. There was a great dawn scene I thought it'd be great to take a photograph of, but I never actually ended up getting up. So what was different about this occasion in New York where I got up early even though I was tired compared to those other situations when I didn't? So about a week before, I'd started looking into where it would be good to run and I decided then that I wanted to go running in New York. So I started planning out where to go, how to get from the hotel up to Central Park, when Central Park opens, where it was good to run around the park. Um, I also started imagining what it would be like to run in New York City, looking at photographs, visualising how it would feel and what it would look like. So you might be saying to yourself, okay, big deal, you've gone out running in New York. What's so exciting about that? But for me, it was a big deal. I'd chosen to share this story because setting this goal or achieving this or any goal requires the same or similar steps as it took for me to go out running in Central Park. So it doesn't matter how big or small that goal was or is, the steps that you follow are going to be similar. So Dr. Wayne Dyer says about, if you don't get what you want, you get what you are. So that basically means I wanted to go running around Central Park, but wanting it wasn't enough. I still had to get up early, even though I might be tired and get out there, put my kit on and get out the door. So you can see running around Central Park as maybe being a small goal on a bigger dream to maybe just say you wanted to achieve running a marathon, this might just be one training session. So getting up early that morning, even though you might be tired, is an important step to achieve that ultimate goal. Or that goal of running around Central Park could just be a one-off, like it was for me, getting out there, achieving that dream of running around Central Park in New York. It's an iconic location. I'm sure lots of people traveled to New York. When I was running around Central Park myself, you could see people from other parts of the states or other countries all doing the same thing, as well as the locals who probably run there all the time. So the goal for me to run around Central Park, the steps I followed to achieve that were as followed. So one is seeing yourself achieving it. So the week before I was planning it, looking into it, seeing what the options were. And that's like the, creating that vision of what the goal is you're going to achieve. So before we even arrived in New York, I'd already decided that this was going to happen. So the next one is to write it down. So whether you've got a journal or diary that you keep things you do each day in, writing that goal down in your diary or journal every day, preferably, is going to help to solidify what it is you want to achieve write down what it's going to feel like to achieve it, what it looks like, what it smells like, writing it in terms of you having already achieved it, um, make it 
measurable right down quantities, distances, times, dates, whatever it might be, just to make it so that goal is more measurable. So that's creating a routine. Um, the next one is taking action. And that's basically getting out there and doing it, but also setting your environment up so that you're going to achieve it. So the night before I went running, I set my kit out, bottom of the beds, checked the temperature so I knew how many layers I needed, whether I needed a hat or gloves. It was actually quite cool that morning, so I made sure I had all those things laid out. Set my heart rate monitor out, so when I'm waking up at six o'clock in the morning and I'm tired, it's removing that any excuses from actually getting out the door. My kit's laid out, I just get up, put it on, drink some water, and put my tunes on and get out the door. So when we were heading down the lift, I'm, I'm walking to, through the lobby and out the front door of the hotel, just as I stepped out and felt that cool air and the noise and hustle and bustle of New York City. And I started my watch, the adrenaline started pumping and I was actually running far too fast. My heart rate was up in like 160s. So I had to actually slow myself down because I was just buzzing from just seeing that I was actually in New York and I'd got out the door and I was running in New York City. And then eventually I reached 59th Street and across that and into the park and joined the other runners. You could see the cyclists running through the middle. Just The sun was just rising at that point in the morning. I think sunrise was like 6.15 or, or so when I had arrived at the park about 6.30 in the morning. So the sun was just rising up the side of the building. So the, the whole atmosphere was just amazing. And so as much as it might be just another day, another opportunity to get out and run, for me, that was much more than that. It was achieving a goal in this case, achieving a dream as well to be running in New York City. And um, yeah, that was massively inspiring. So regardless what your goals are, if it's something small or something big, setting yourself up to be able to succeed in that goal, to be able to get up early in the morning, whether you're tired or not, getting out running, if it's training or exercise, or whatever it might be, just setting yourself up for success. So me getting out running in New York, as much as it was a dream, it was also, I made sure it happened because I'd set myself up for success. I decided before I left that it was going to happen. I'd written it down. I'd got my kid out the night before. I'd taken action. So regardless whether I was tired or not in the morning, I was, there was nothing that was going to stop me achieving that. So that's what I want to share with you today. So as um, Dr. Wayne Dyer talks about, um, what do you say? You don't get what you want. You get what you are. So becoming that person who gets up early, even though you're tired and gets out there, gets the kit on and goes training, means that you then become that person who does that as opposed to someone who thinks about it but never actually takes action. So yeah, that's what I want to leave you with this week. Um, get out there and yeah, set yourself up for success. Take action, create a vision, environment, routine, write it down, and then become that person who takes action and gets out there. Okay, so thanks for listening and yeah, I will share with you more next week.